Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. You're listening to TFG Football. What is up everyone? Here we are another Indian football podcast and well TFG brings you every day it's a daily dose right and as, as usual joining me in the studio is Kevin and Chiranjeet now after we had a great discussion with Mr Kit Kelis uh, yesterday on our show today also looks like you know a lot of a lot of things happening uh, even on our show uh, we start with of course what just broke out that India will be playing Cambodia in an international friendly match and there's likelihood that we will be going to Cambodia to play and uh, we'll be training before that few days over there and this looks like a positive news right saranjit mhm mhm we had that interview with uh, stephen constantine last yes. month and he said we're going to play uh, friendly ahead of every yes. qualifier we were like oh man this is like is this happening we're going to get like six qualifiers yeah that is music to our ears but finally it's happening yeah 12 matches something to look forward to and uh, they they are playing uh, myanmar i think uh, hmm. on and the, the away match uh, ahead of uh, in, the, in the first match of the Asian Cup third round yeah. qualifiers so Myanmar is uh, ranked 159 but we're playing away from home different climate yeah. so we'll go to Cambodia similar climate uh, team ranked 172 perfect pre qualifier yeah. friendly opponent great warm up match hmm. Hmm. yeah i mean here is something to look forward it's happening on March 22nd the friendly match yeah 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 so so they'll, they're going to get like almost uh, two weeks yeah to prepare yeah. they're going to have a camp here then they're going to go to cambodia practice hmm. camp there then uh, they'll go to myanmar yeah That's you know why this is happening hmm? you know why this is happening because i league respects international <laughs> breaks <laughs> unlike <laughs> certain That's other tournament league. Yeah. The real league of course respects everything that's going around. Yes. Yes. So now moving on uh, there's some bits tits and bits from the Kolkata derby uh, updates because of course the Sunday is uh, the first derby of the season and we need to touch upon various things as a build up right we need mm. to have we are anyway doing it on our website the fangrass.com every day chota mota jo bhi hai we are putting and it wrapping up wrapping in our pants along yeah. the way you know. <laughs> that's just him <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, today what we have on our show is that wow east bengal team have got struck with fever what 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 happened in the camp uh ah, i think this was due to weather change they traveled to goa warm humid place and within a week they were uh, in uh, punjab uh, where i was uh, for the game and it was super cold then they were suddenly back in humid kolkata and they're training out there every day so yeah i think some some sort of sardi garmi ho gaya hmm. uh, kisi players ko i think four five players were uh, affected by this the including flu. not a flu just just like a seasonal fever hmm. and uh, you know including bukenya including uh, okay. plaza i hope okay. it's not the pre derby fever <laughs> <laughs> Looks yeah, like I that. was I was going to make the joke <laughs> later on but you took it. <laughs> It's okay. So yeah the, the literal fever uh, running up here but mm. they they getting better. Even Rahul Beke was uh, caught with it but uh, Bukenya I think by Sunday others. they'll all be fit and fine. Mm, this is just be. like a teaser Bukhe, saying, hey, Bukhe, you know, yeah most of them returned to practice yesterday yeah, so this is yeah. not an issue anymore. Yeah so it's a small things happen such things happen. Uh now Mohan Bagan's name was spelled wrong on the ticket. Yes. Like So who are so the ones the, behind this No no so so who prints the ticket yeah. is bengal yeah <laughs> obviously <laughs> obviously you are the home uh, team so you print the tickets so what happened is that in this particular ticket they uh, uh, they spelled uh, uh, it's it says kingfisher east bengal football team which itself is a mistake because it's, it's supposed to be a football club not a football team okay? oh. that, that's your official name kingfisher east bengal football club so <laughs> get your own name right first you know hmm. and then kingfisher east bengal football team versus mmb mmb like what <laughs> mmb was the abbreviation when we were uh, in sponsorship we had sponsorship from uh, Mo- mcdowell hmm. that's when it used to be mcdowell mohan bagan it's no longer the case it's hmm. mohan bagan athletic club like is it so hard to spell it out on a ticket i mean the ticket has enough real estate you can ex- at least like maybe they were trying to save on ink and whatever maybe yeah. that's the situation space. with their yeah. budget the space is there hmm. they're just saving on ink i think uh, so yeah that that's what's happening uh, it it just says mmb i think uh, mohan bagan is launching an uh, you know uh, a complaint against federation for this because mmb is a is not the proper name you're supposed to have the real name of the club 
and your own club by the way hmm. yeah, when you are printing your ticket so this is uh, this looks uh, like how we keep saying no uh, the people used to handle isl if there are some internship looks like this yeah, you know yeah, probably yeah. one of those case like yeah. here as well <laughs> who just want this to finish the work fast and go home <laughs> yeah this is this is uh, you know uh, the or, whole thing became or that person under pressure as well you know derby hai Like, uh, yeah, like something yeah. kuch hua fever, crack yeah. fever yeah maybe maybe Dari. maybe it, it it's it's a trigger situation you yeah, know some something. people need trigger warning before seeing the opponent's name yeah, properly or even something. their own name uh, yeah something yeah. really brewing up now something yeah gra- by the way hmm. there is another thing happening with the tickets is uh, 25000 tickets are being printed which okay. is like uh, so that's why it's called a quarter derby okay. because you, 100000 people come to the derby only hmm. 25000 can come to this one hmm. so people are calling it a quarter derby hmm. so out of 21000 Only four thousand are going to uh, Mohan Bagan fans, mm. so that's a shit show. If the crowd is not evenly divided, why are you having a derby? It it won't have the same. Why feeling. is that case? Have. I mean, Lagan. Uh, because uh, East Bengal are the home team; they're keeping most of the okay. tickets for themselves. So okay. what should have it been? It should have been like twelve thousand five hundred either way. Okay, and uh, proper demarcation. They are just keeping one small stand for Mohan Bagan fans, w- which will be completely filled by uh, fans who are traveling from Kolkata because Mohan Bagan picked it all up. You can buy those tickets at the Mohan Bagan club tent. So East Bengal are selling also like five six thousand tickets in their own club tent in Kolkata. The rest are available to local fans, hmm. but those are all demarcated for East Bengal fans. So if if a Mohan Bagan fan wants to buy a ticket in Shiliguri. to watch the derby he will have to sit with east bengal fans <laughs> like are you kidding me that guy will be like assaulted beaten up hospitalized or whatever if <laughs> mohan bagan uh, end up winning or or they'll have to hide like they can't come out and cheer for the for their own team so it's it's a very bad situation to put and now when i say it's not just a match it is a war this is this just uh, defined that yeah. well moving on now there's something happening between players we didn't mention about uh, sunil norde and watson uh, you know there's there's a story up on our website that said that they are avoiding to meet each other before uh, and they they avoid dinner or lunch together yeah. before the derby because they don't want to you know the scenes to go ugly now what what's what's with that yeah, again yeah. i think watson has come out no, and said is, something Right. practice this yeah. is sta- uh, standard uh, sony and wilson uh, uh, obviously former teammates high national team pe bhi tha udhar bhi tha dhan mandi so they said like we're not going to have dinner like sony said i'm not going to have dinner with him before the derby hmm. so then he wilson uh, came up like saying he's yeah, going to be my enemy yeah, <laughs> yeah for <laughs> 90 minutes derby. he's my enemy <laughs> 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 and it, uh, yeah obviously yeah, you know, that's are, healthy yeah you're yeah, supposed to say all this course, stuff yeah. You're yeah. supposed to say all this stuff because that uh, you know uh, energizes Bills your more. fans. Yeah. And then Bukenya was, uh, I think he came out yesterday saying, "So he not they will not get to touch the ball." <laughs> I'm like, okay. Chalo, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the what's the issue with return leg when you problem? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so Mohan Bagan are playing at Rabindra Sarovar. Hmm. Uh, they want to do the derby there. Yeah. But uh, you have that. Uh, a problem from that uh, quote and quote environmentalist yeah. group you can't sell more than 10000 yeah. tickets because you killed a bird like yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> so that's like one tenth of a derby yeah so what do uh, you call that thing? yeah <laughs> it, it was it was a bad thing already but the real issue was uh, that something that happens with barasat and uh, ravindra sarovar you have mo- one main entrance for the fans to come in through right oh. and that is the problem Bad. You need <laughs> to have you need to have separate gates, man. You cannot have one gate for. Uh, Or just say have. one hour only Mohan Bagan fans. No, no, no. You can't do that either. <laughs> you can't do that either because people people like show up at the venue from morning. Like if it's a 7 p.m. match, yeah. At 12, you'll see people singing and dancing outside the gate, hmm. and you cannot risk like for so many hours these two sets of fans being in such close proximity it's a disaster idea especially when they are like coming out after the games one party will at least be frustrated yeah this angry. is a, that they, that that means this will just add more pressure on the cops over there who has to deal yeah. with all this yeah. later on after and the match and they don't, and the uh, kolkata police don't want to do deal with this they yeah. saying don't so please, do it there so please please have two gates separate yeah. gates for no, both no, the set the, of fans no no you can't build a gate <laughs> right now i mean Or some uh, entry some somewhere yeah, yeah, some uh, you even you try to if you like try to break through a wall or uh, or it's a good option since it's mohan bagan hosting okay you all fans just stay over the night just stay you know come here a uh, day early and stay and then let the east bengal fans come on the match i'm sure day. that's even the most practical solution <laughs> yeah even even the exit like 
डरबी Hmm. and uh, good organization as well they had uh, you know all these balloons going up of both clubs ka teams ka colors and everything and i remember that day like uh, the the jagannath temple ka traffic it became one third because all the bengalis in puri just went over to katak to watch that match <laughs> so it was uh, a crazy uh, you know crazy stories uh, everywhere surrounding that so i i definitely would prefer barabati stadium okay uh, so then then rabindra sarovar even though you know it's more convenient to do it at uh, hmm. uh, for the club yeah yeah just for people's safety yeah now moving on some news breaking out from down south from chennai uh, that is uh, we 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 heard the news that they had sacked their coach uh, charles raja and now he now there's rumors that they might have you know taken on board with this uh, coach that goes by the name v soundara rajan and it's also says probably doesn't have experience of coaching mm. but has played as a midfielder and what are you thinking about an yeah, inexperienced a- coach Is it a good time to get in? Yeah, well, it's an inexperienced team, no? Yeah. Uh, new club coming in and uh, not delivering. But I don't know why they, you know, fired him at that point. It it was coming, hmm. but uh, you know, I think it's Mumbai FC could have been a could have been a turnaround for them, no? Yeah. Well, because uh, it was not all that bad uh, the way you consider their recent results. They could have, you know, held on for some time. The coach knew the team and. they were getting there it, mm. it wasn't all bad but uh, wo- you you can't really uh, co- question the, uh, after everything is done yeah i just hope the the transition that they have between the next coach coming in is a little smoother one than they have right now mm. Mm. so this is this is a appointment more uh, aligned with the core philosophy of the uh, club so they will yeah. probably field more local players which is okay Healthy. Which also they already have. Mm-hmm. They already so have, but you know, players. Tiring and as I, as I said in the, yesterday, that, that might be a point of contention. So yeah, it's okay. Uh, you know, maybe this will work out for them. Maybe if if it doesn't, it'll be even worse. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's move on, and I think we are still down south only because Ozone FC is our next topic of discussion. Mm. Uh, they have a team from Bengaluru now under sixteen. Uh, team of theirs, uh, there was news and complaint that you know they fielded uh, more more than five five, five overage, uh, players. overage players, and now age fraud is a news that we are not very new to. Uh, it happens globally around everywhere, but this is a it's something that we really need to look it's into. It's an epidemic in Indian sports. Yes, yeah. it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. It even happens across. Even the local leagues have it. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether the state, state, local leagues have, keep happening. So, uh, what exactly ha- happened? Uh, fi- uh, apparently, some complaint was filed, okay. and uh, five players were uh, found to have fake birth certificates. Hmm. And There was the no action taken. Yeah, if I wanted to uh, disqualify them okay. ahead of their uh, semi-final against Sri Lanka, John. Okay. But uh, at the last moment, uh, they they went to court, Ozone FC, mm-hmm. and uh, the uh, judge put a stay on that. So this is an interim situation where they had to let them play, and they beat uh, Shillong Lajong. And now they're in the final. So they now played with the overage players. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I yeah, mean, what so else could they do? They had the players. They put in them, and there was uh, the order was stayed. So. <laughs> so now, so Zone could... FC is saying this is a attempt to smear them. Hmm. But that's what every club says when they get caught. When they get caught, yeah. And it, this is seriously. This is getting so like common. Yeah. Uh, you you don't you don't even like want to dwell on it, but. Yeah. Uh, And now they're set to play. I think. I think yeah. uh, the problem is not at the under sixteen level. Yeah, it's, it it's is. Even it is earlier. much deeper. It is much yeah. earlier when you start registering a player for any professional league. Now, hmm. this is not a professional league or say semi-professional league that might turn out as a feeder for the under seventeen uh, right. uh, team. Mm. Yeah. Right when players start playing uh, at a recognized level from school, maybe from grassroots as well, that is when the registration should start. Hmm. And only when you have a database of the players, only then you can be uh, targeting whether this is a fraud or no, because you start when it is uh, in its nascent stage. Exactly. Not when you 
as shown on TV. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and also I think this also goes out to the parents of these kids who need to take, uh, you know, take take interest in such things and you know avoid such things because probably yeah. at times they are also influenced by seeing. Hey, चलता है they're playing the bigger team already. They're looking at promotion, early promotion. Like, so this is this case. is actually done by uh, coaches and uh, academies uh, mm. who who It's want club that decides. Yeah, 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 who who want more name for themselves yeah. and uh, uh, by. Fielding overage uh, right. players and winning, but they are they they are actually destroying the uh, players' yeah. life. We faced uh, all this even in college. Yeah, you, you, I yeah. remember when I was in college, I'd been for a trial for yeah. under nineteen. I remember I won't name that club, but uh, the team was already selected, and none of the selected players were under nineteen. Hmm. It was an open secret yeah. for everybody yeah, to know. Yeah, the same year. So this particular this, college it's not had changing, you know. Yeah, this particular college that we played used to just buy the students. You know, probably they're already graduated. They should just buy a come play for us, and the ID and everything is sorted. So we were like playing against. It's tall the problem of uh, is that uh, it's an epidemic, Indian epidemic, yeah. and there's no consequences to that. when mm-hmm. you have uh, restrictions put when you have uh, some ris- uh, you know those uh, uh, law is there but it's not implemented correctly yeah. right. that is a problem exactly. see uh, this is why these uh, under 16 uh, national level leagues are so important because yeah. you have clubs with something to lose who participate right. like ozone fc want to go big in indian football they have a reputation to protect yeah. right so if they do something they know they will get a lot of bad name hmm. yeah Uh, they will be disrespected all over right. so that's why they're fighting so hard against us hmm. right uh, you you have uh, you had fc pune city participated you had all these i league clubs who participated bengaluru fc uh, yeah. just got beaten by minerva fc afc so minerva fc are uh, in the final against uh, <laughs> set to play was on yeah like the like uh, uh, their the senior team is uh, not doing so well in i league but, the but they're team. defending champions yeah. in under 16 level yeah. <laughs> they're like freaking doing it man so they the one person who should be complaining most in this situation yeah. is is the Doesn't person in charge of uh, <laughs> yeah he's like if if i was in the final hmm. and uh, i was i knew that uh, my exactly. players were going up against uh, like overage players I would be making a big deal out of it. Yeah. It would yeah. be it would be the diplomatic thing to do because hey, I want to be the I want to defend my title. Right. And I want to protect my players from going up against overage players and protect them from injuries yes. potential. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So I I want fair game. That's yeah. that's what uh, I would do. This guy Ranjit Bajaj <laughs> owner and and he's also a coach for the under eight, under 16 team. <laughs> he's a licensed coach. Doesn't give a damn. Yeah. Okay, it's like the the ultimate The uh, most coolest attitude. chap right now it's him. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, this comes from being a player. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we that, that sporting attitude. Uh, I caught up with him last night. Just hear him. Yeah, I mean it's this. a telephonic conversation, so usual disclaimer uh, out there. But hear, hear him, hear it from his mouth itself directly yeah. into him. Yeah. So they want to give them two extra years in that age group, but what they do is the twenty-two-year-olds are playing in the under nineteens, and the eighteen-year-olds are playing in the under sixteens. Okay. So when they actually go to their age group, they are already so much far behind because they've been playing with sixteen-year-olds. If this is true, and if the certificates have been found to be false, and AFF should do exactly, should come out with their own statement saying, "Yeah, this has happened." But uh, if this happens, then they're going to be disqualified and yeah. they're going to be banned. Like actually, Constant has been banned. I hope you know, Constant qualified as the champions of Delhi. Yeah, and they have been banned for two years because somebody complained about them, and four of their players are found to be overage. Mm-hmm. They've been banned for two years, even though being champions of Delhi instead of them, somebody else, I Y F C or somebody went away. Hmm. So now you are there, like in the ch- in the final, and uh, you yeah, may be. Yeah, but no, that doesn't matter because my under 16 boys, they love a challenge and they would love it. In fact, it would pump them up even more. Because mm. then beating them would be even icing on the cake. Mm. So, so you you yeah. have no you have no problem uh, playing against a uh, no, overage team. No team. problem at all. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Doesn't matter, man. It's all football. In football, there's no age. It's how good you are. That's why. That's what I keep on trying to tell my boys that if a 17 year old is good enough to beat an elite team, a 16 year old is definitely good enough to beat them. It's all about football. Hmm. So, uh, but uh, we're not even sure if this is seventeen-year-old or eighteen-year-old, right? I mean, no, no, they're not seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Doesn't matter. Okay. The point is, the boys have to believe, and if you put that in their mind that they can beat anyone, that's. I mean, 
I made that's why. See, this is why when I made them play in the Durand Cup yeah. and in the DSK Cup, yeah. that's going to pay off. Hopefully, now, hopefully, yeah. because all 90% of these boys have gone and played against the seniors in the DSK Cup and the Durand Cup. Hmm. So they've been practicing with the Punjab University boys, and they are the Punjab University Winter University champion of India. And in fact, they've been doing very well. They've been doing yeah. well, growing with them on every occasion. So mm-hmm. you know. They're not overall at all. This okay. is a challenge for all of you. So, uh, when is, uh, like, uh, when is the final? Why do you mean? Final tomorrow? is also. So, First I'm going to fly to Sandigo tomorrow morning. Yeah. We met with the Armed Forces Academy there. Then, Sandigo nice. again in a fly to Mumbai. And we bring the Mumbai match Queen the champion. And then, fly to Bangalore the next day for the Bangalore versus the Sandigo match. <laughs> so much. Like, I you know, have to be here. And the Churchill brother match was happening there, bro. Remember, you were there. I was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you work with the you you are a pretty hands-on coach with the under sixteen, right? But uh, the yeah, the man. The, 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 yes, because I am I have for the last two years the, everybody kept on changing, but I have been the constant factor. So I know each and every one like I know the back of my hand. Okay. And I you know I know how to pump them up. I know what exactly motivates them. Which one does good with motivation, and which one does good with a little bit of a kick up their ass, you know? Mm. So that and they know that I am really good at it. So that's a great feeling yeah. for them. But the owner is here, leaving a senior IT team, and he's focusing on us. Mm. You know, for them also, it's a great kind of a thing. Now, well, there you go. You heard it. We we were you know uh, blabbering about it, but you heard it from him. And now we you know why we were so saying so much like you know he's he's like the coolest head, the calm guy who just wants to go out and show his uh, worth in performing. He doesn't care what's happening. Seriously, around. man. Ah uh, no, this is this is the ultimate YOLO thing. Like yeah. whenever Punjab have been doing this for a while, they're like twelve days to make a team for the top division. Let's do it. YOLO. Ah, <laughs> you you can't play in Chandigarh. You have to play in Ludhiana. Okay. YOLO. <laughs> you you don't have like the, your uh, your the stadium you paid for got uh, taken for a uh, under uh, Republican day. Parrot and the pitch is ruined. Yolo. Yeah, we still ah. do it. <laughs> over it, over it plays against you in the final. Yolo. <laughs> We're gonna play DSK Cup against senior teams. Send under 16 kids. Yolo. <laughs> Khatam. Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, just it's it's like it's like a beast who's ready to get just get you know trash the open. That's all the mentality here is. Every, I think I'm I'm totally supporting them. Yeah, yeah. In the final, yeah. I think every every uh, Indian football lover will be. After listening to him, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you put your money even more. <laughs> yeah. But even though you were, you know, dice in the situation, probably they might get, uh, you know, uh, the same. Something might happen to Ozan, but here, just for football and just for his mentality. No, just uh, just imagine mind. the situation. Even if uh, Ozan FC play and win, yeah. they might get later convicted, and the decision may be overturned. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Minerva will be given the title anyway. Yeah. Uh, if but that happens. But he doesn't happens. want it like but that. But he he doesn't want it yeah. like that. He was, I, 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 I want the I want to win it. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what happens off the field. Yeah. I want to. Win it on the pitch. That and he also said, like you know, icing on the cake if he just goes out and beats them. I mean, yeah. I mean that would be even great for the kids, right? Yeah. Under 16 playing the after knowing that you are playing overage players. Who knows? A couple of them might even get picked for under 17. Yeah, camp. you never know. You never know. <laughs> if if a coach can be changed right now, I think you can even pick players, yeah. right? So it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, well, that was our show about today, and a lot of things happened uh, on the show because a lot of things keep happening in Indian football, and we try to get all of them together and give it a Give it with our touch of flavor. Mm. Uh, I hope you enjoy this show. And there's more coming for you today. Uh, exclusive interview with yes, Isaac, yes. Vanlal Soma, midfielder, Lajong FC, yeah. and a member of the national team, bigger squad. You know the 25. Yeah, so you know what to look forward to on the yes. same day. Uh, so we can't pack everything together. So we need to put out, you know, tora tora karke denge ham. Mm. And uh, that's all, folks. Uh, if you're listening to our show on YouTube, hit the like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for a lot of comments. You know, it's it's a good thing. Engage, please do. Engage in the comment section, writing your views. We will. It's always welcome. Now, if you want to talk to us directly, we are on Twitter as Chiranjit Oja, uh, Boza underscore Kevin for Kevin. I am on Twitter as Jim Matthew ninety four. Nikhil is as forty two. Nikhil. Now, that's all, folks. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, etc. Have a great day. Cheers. Hey man, <laughs> just help me out, man. I need some. I need some podcast, man. I haven't had a fix in a week. Just need some. 
Don't you worry about it. I got podcasts galore for you, man. Just go to ivmpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, man. I'm going to check it out.